Hello friends, I welcome you to my YouTube channel MacPM. So in today's video, we will study the phenomena of capillarity, and then we will derive a uh, relation between the surface tension and the uh, capillary action, and uh, then we will solve a numerical problem which is based on the capillarity phenomena. So let's see. First of all, what is capillarity? So this is a thin pipe which is uh, placed on the in inside uh, of the liquid. Uh, suppose this is a liquid bowl and we are putting a straw inside this liquid so you will see that uh, the liquid inside the straw will rise above the level of the liquid in bowl so like you see suppose uh, you, you are trying to put a wick or a cotton wick uh, in a liquid suppose this is level of liquid H1 and if you put a thin pipe or cotton inside this liquid then liquid will rise along this week up to uh, support height H2 so actual level should have been H1 is equal to H2 but this liquid is rising above this level H1 why this is because of the surface tension and this phenomena of liquid rising above the uh, original liquid level is known as capillarity rise if liquid level falls below the this original liquid level then it is called the capillarity depression and uh, let's remove this so we will see uh, why this liquid rises above the original liquid level so here you can see that original liquid level is up to here and <coughs> this liquid has risen H high, H level more than this original level so what are the forces acting here so let's see so here you will see the water is not in plane level this is curved and this is called the angle of contact so angle of contact here is theta so if this is surface tension acting along the angle of contact so we will break into two parts this is sigma this will be sigma cos theta and this will be sigma sin theta I, I hope you know how to break these forces in two perpendicular directions so this is sigma cos theta the component uh, towards the angle is cos theta and uh, opposite to the angle is sin theta so it will be sigma cos theta and sigma sin theta so as you can see this liquid which has a height h has risen above so something is balancing this so what are the two forces in action so first force is f1 is equal to surface tension force which is trying to lift this liquid and uh, this is force f2 is weight of liquid which will try to put try to pull liquid down to the original level ok so what will be the force F1 first we will calculate these forces F1 and F2 then we will try to get the formula so what will be the F1 surface tension force so surface tension force will act along the perimeter as we know so this is the perimeter of the liquid in the this thin pipe so perimeter of this liquid will be pi into d suppose d is the diameter of this thin pipe ok why are we saying the thin pipe because if diameter will be more if it is thick pipe uh, or ha has large diameter then capillary action will be negligible this liquid will not rise much in this pipe so pi d will be the uh, perimeter of this glass in which liquid is rising into uh, what is the component of uh, sigma or surface tension which is lifting this liquid so it is upward direction this is sigma cos theta as you can see that this horizontal direction sigma sin theta will cancel each other because it will act in this direction also this uh, it will act in this direction also it will act in all direction and it will cancel each other so this will be surface tension force 
f1 what is the f2 f2 is the weight of this liquid which is which has risen above the original level so what is the volume of this liquid which has risen volume will be volume of a cylinder because this pipe is cylindrical round so pi by 4 d square is area into height is h this is volume of this suppose this is a cylinder then pi by 4 d square is area of this cross section into h height or length of this uh, tube will give the volume of this this portion which is above the original level of liquid so this is volume if we multiply volume by density then you will get mass and if we multiply it by gravity acceleration due to gravity then we will get weight weight of this portion okay so these are the two forces acting on this column so these forces will be equal because this liquid has risen up to this level and it is in equilibrium so to for being in equilibrium these two forces will be same so we will equalize that these two forces so pi by 4 pi d into sigma cos theta is equal to pi by 4 d square h rho into d so this pi will be cancelled with pi this diameter will be cancelled with diameter so what we will get we are trying to find the expression of h means how much is this liquid will rise in the tube so h will be equal to this h will remain here so this sigma cos theta is here so sigma cos theta divided by and this 4 will come this side so 4 g and rho are remaining rho and g and 1 d is here which was remaining so this is the equation of or expression of the height h is equal to 4 sigma cos theta upon rho g d so if this diameter will be more then this lower value will increase and this level of h will decrease that's why for rising for capillary action diameter should be less because this g is fixed 9.81 and this rho for suppose this is a water then for water this g is rho is fixed density if it is a lighter uh, lighter fluid then capillary action will be more because this density will decrease if rho it decreases then h increases so if density decreases then height increases and uh, h is also proportional to sigma so if sigma is more surface tension is more then height will also be more if diameter is more then height will be less okay and uh, if you are talking about the water then for water this cos theta will be 1 because for water uh, this contact angle is 0 so cos 0 is equal to 1 so it will become 4 sigma upon rho g d now let's solve the numerical problem we will write formula here h is equal to 4 sigma cos theta upon rho g d this is expression of the height capillary rise so this is the problem let's read the problem the capillary capillary rise in a glass tube is 2.5 mm diameter so diameter is 2.5 mm which is equal to 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter because 1 meter is 1000 mm when immersed vertically in a water so there are two conditions first is water so for water we know that contact angle is 0 so for water theta is equal to 0 and second condition is for mercury so for mercury the contact angle is 130 degree 
थीटा ए वन थर्टी डिग्री ओके एंड टेक द सरफेस टेंशन सिग्मा इज गिवन एज पॉइंट जीरो सेवन टू फाइव फॉर वाटर एंड फॉर मार्करी इट इज गिवन एट पॉइंट फाइव एंड फाइव टू न्यूटन पर मीटर द स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ मार्करी इज थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स सो स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी इज थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स एंड फॉर वाटर वी ऑल नो दैट स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी इज वन so we will see for the first condition first so h is equal to 4 into sigma is given 0.0725 and the cos 0 is equal to 1 because theta is 0 degree celsius upon rho is specific gravity is 1 for water we, uh, standard density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube If you want to calculate the density of mercury, then we will multiply it by 13.6 into 1000. Because then we have to multiply uh, into by 1000 into special gravity to get density. Because 1000 is the density of water, so it will be rho into 9.81 into diameter. Diameter of the pipe is. 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3. 4 into surface tension cos 0 equal to 1 into 1000 is density of water into 9.81 into 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 is the diameter. So you will get 8.0.01 a 18 meter. So it's a small value, so we will convert it into centimeter. So it will be 1.18 centimeter. Okay. So let's calculate for the second case. This is H water and H mercury will be equal to 4 into sigma for mercury H 0.5 to into cos. Theta for mercury is 130 degrees Celsius. Sorry, 130 degrees. Upon rho is 13,600 because we have to multiply by 1000 into 9.81 is fixed. Acceleration due to gravity into diameter is same for both the pipes. Okay, so if you will calculate this. Then you will get point zero zero four into minus minus point zero zero four meter, which will be equal to point four centimeter. So why are getting this minus? It means that there will be capillary depression. So in first case we saw that this is liquid level. And this was tube, so liquid or rise. This is capillary rise. But in case of mercury, we will get capillary depression like this. So level of liquid inside the pipe will be below the original liquid level. Okay. So this is capillary depression of mercury, which is 0.4 centimeter. So I hope you understood this problem. This problem. If you have any doubt, then you can ask in the comment section.